Put it out the coop in the lot. Water for a 12 fuck swat. Pussing all the bells out the box. I just hit a leaf with the box. Had to put the stick in the box. What's up guys, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some highlights of these three young, extremely talented players I was able to train. Yanni, Danny, and Brady, all amazing young players. I think they're all 12 years old. But I'm just gonna be taking you guys through the session, explaining why we did certain drills and some things that we did. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give these guys a big thumbs up on the video and comment down below what you liked and some things that you wanna see in the future. So the first thing that we started off with was some 40 yard dash. So working on that maximal sprint. And we just wanted to see where they're at in terms of speed. I had them all put on the stat sports vest. So I was able to track their max speed. And it was really fun for them because they were able to compete against each other. And that's what's great about, you know, training young kids. You want to make it fun. And they're very competitive. So it's a great way to really have them, you know, work on something that they can, you know, do. And just doing regular sprints is a great way to get better at sprinting, believe it or not. So the next thing we did was some passing drills. And the reason why I did that is because I want these guys to build some good chemistry and just work on their first touch and passing you know the main emphasis for young players is to get lots of touches during a session that's that has to be one of the most important things is make sure they get lots of touches and make sure they do different things a lot of different situations so doing the basics start off with the basics and then end it with some more game realistic stuff that they can apply into their games but at the end of the day these players are very young so for them is you know having them play as much as possible having them get as many touches on the ball with both feet with all different parts of their body, making sure they use their laces, the instep, their thighs, their head, their shoulders, and etc. After we did some passing, worked on some finishing, and something that I really want them to get to better at is working on finishing off crosses. It's something that's very difficult. I think it's one of the hardest things to do as a young player. It's something that I really lacked is, you know, finishing off crosses, the timing you need, the composure, and also just not being afraid to head the ball is something that a lot of young players you know they're worried they're scared of the ball because it's coming towards them really fast so they don't understand how the ball moves so if i can have them get used to it they're going to be able to read the ball and be able to adjust their body to you know the crosses and for them to be able to finish off these is going to be extremely important and especially if they could do it at a younger age it's going to be much easier as they get older and believe it or not some of these kids made some amazing finishes off some of these crosses I know I'm not whipping them in like crazy, but I'm still playing it hard. After we did some crossing and finishing, we worked on a three-turn finishing drill. And I think this is great no matter what position they play. I think, you know, working on being able to turn is very important no matter what the position. And being able to finish with both feet is super important. So, you know, each one of them hit some bangers right here. Brady made such an amazing save. I don't know how he got that. And, you know, Yanni... Uh, an amazing player who can use both feet but Brady is just multi-talented uh, he would never think he's a goalie and that's something every person that comes out to train that doesn't know Brady they're always like there's no way he's a goalie and you know even though he might seem small on goal he can cover a lot of ground that's for sure but a lot of these guys you know they made Brady work <laughs> a lot so Danny scored some bangers him Yanni scored some bangers but Brady you know I gotta give him credits he made some amazing saves but you know at the end of the day like I mentioned before it's all about getting those reps in and working on being able to finish with both feet if you're able to get these kids to be able to use that weak foot and turn it into something you know not as weak then they're gonna be able to pass and be confident because at the end of the day you know confidence is one of the biggest things there's gonna be situations where these kids are gonna to have to finish with their weak foot and you know we always see those kids that they're just not confident enough so they cut back to a strong foot and they just end up missing an opportunity when they could have just shot with their left foot so this is a great drill just working on that you know setting yourself up and then adjusting your body to being able to shoot really well so this is just a great drill working on that repetition and something that anybody can do as you can see it's only three cones three shots and then switch and i had i had them do this several rounds just to get those reps in because you know i'm all i'm all I'm all about getting those reps. I think reps, reps, reps is very important for these young kids because at the end of the day, you can tell them, oh, okay, this is how you do it. Adjust your body this, but 
at the end of the day they need to figure it out because once they figure it out then you don't have to say anything because they know exactly what you mean by hit it with your laces keep your foot locked and etc And one of the last drills that we ended up doing was a, like I think a four shot finishing drill and this was really good working on setting yourself up for multiple different shots at different angles, working on that left foot, working on turning, working on so many different aspects of your game and it's also very tiring and it's the reason why I like adding this drill because you're moving, you're cutting, you're making quick small adjustments and it could be very tiring and one of the most important things is can you maintain good technical ability while fatigued and that's something you know I would like to evaluate with my players or people I train with is that can you still hit it upper 90 when you're tired and the same thing is going to happen when you're in a game let's say you make a like a 40 yard run can you still finish on goal can you still maintain that composure and that technical quality even while fatigue and that's something that i really like to focus on that's why a lot of the drills that i do involves a ball it's like i like to involve fitness with the ball because at the end of the day you know most of the time you know when you're tired and you get an opportunity you're going to have to be you know not, not only you know in shape but can you be in shape with the ball can you maintain that good composure that good quality that good form you know finishing because at the end of the day you know fitness without the ball is different with fitness with the ball and that's something you know a lot of people have to you know separate you have to do fitness with the ball and then you have to do fitness without the ball so make sure you do both and not just focus on fitness without the ball because i think fitness without the ball anyone can do and it's more boring in my opinion but i think fitness with the ball is a little bit more enjoyable for these kids because there's a purpose behind it you know you're getting lots of touches you're finishing and at the end of the day it's a little bit easier to kind of forget about it but it's still going to be very tiring but thank you guys for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and comment down below what you guys liked in this video if you agreed on anything i said and i just want to give another shout out to yanni danny and brady thank you guys for making the session so easy to run their work ethic was amazing they're very coachable and they all have the ability to play at the next level i'm just excited to see where their future takes them so thank you guys for watching and hope everyone has a wonderful day What's up guys, I'm up? here with the young legends here, some new guests. We have Danny, Brady, and Yanni, and Juan. So we're gonna get these guys thoughts on training today. They all did an amazing job. And we're gonna introduce our new special guest, Danny. How was today's session? Welcome. Uh, what did you think? It was good. I think by the end I was better. For sure, definitely, yeah. definitely. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, what was your favorite drill? Um, the one at the end that we were doing. Yeah. Actually, no, the crossing one. You like the crossing yeah, and finishing? Like the crossing. What position do you play? I play kind of all over. Yeah. Yeah. Like and is that your favorite team, I see? Man City? Is that your favorite team? I don't know. Maybe change? <laughs> <laughs> no, but thank you, Dan, for coming out. Amazing job, as yeah. always. It's great having you out. Hopefully, I can see you in the future with Brady. Scoring goals on him. Mm -hmm. Um... Now we're going to get our next special guest, Yanni. Welcome. How was today's session? What do you think uh, of it? And what was your favorite drill of today's session? It was good. And I also like the crossing. You like the crossing fishing? What position do you play? Winger. Winger? Awesome, man. Well, keep up the amazing work. And now we're going to get Brady, the guy who talks too much. Uh, Brady. Brady, what, how was today's session? I'm sponsored. Oh, that's <laughs> Uh My favorite part, is that what you said? Yeah, what was your favorite uh, part of today's session? Uh, I like the end and the crossing because I got to play goalie and I saved so many good shots. Yeah, and they scored a couple good goals on you, right? Mm, maybe. Yeah. Undisclosed information? No yeah. comment? I also had that good save though, you know, we, don't, we talk about that one. Yeah, it was a really good save. Yeah, so, world class, honestly. That one. That one good save. Just that one, right? It was just one? Yeah, only one. No, it was a couple. You made my shots look better. 
Oh. See, he, he kept on hitting it to top corner. Yeah, you did. There's a couple. The ones that you couldn't get to, you hit it top corner. But yeah, great stuff, guys. Yeah, Amazing job. You. Uh, let's get a sponsored athlete if you're wondering. Oh, is that sports? Oh, oh, oh. Is he wearing a sports bra? It's like $300, if you're wondering. Yeah. I know. So, yeah, great stuff from these guys, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Wait, wait, wait. Let's get Juan's thoughts. He, he's the one that helped out today, so thank you, Juan. Yeah, uh, today's uh, today's session was great. Uh, we had some really good quality uh, touches, passing. Um, the intensity was there. They still got to work a little bit on the crossing and finishing, but you know. They're still young. They're still young. They're still learning. This is the best way to learn. Um, it's the best way. It's a great environment to be in. The quality of these players were f by far great. They are very technical. They have really good skills, and hopefully they can uh, keep getting better coming out over here. For sure. So great stuff. Thank you for coming out, bro. Thanks we'll for letting me have or let, <laughs> let, let, let me have thanks for letting me be here hey yo guys like subscribe comment uh comment if uh any <laughs> uh we'll see you guys next time <laughs>